So the coronavirus is a viral pathogen that affects people in different ways. Uh, it causes fever, cough, and shortness of breath are the most common symptoms. Um, the new coronavirus that's in the news and that we're talking about causes the disease that's now called COVID-19. Again, the most common symptoms are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. It tends to affect the upper and lower airways. So things that people can do to prevent infection with this COVID-19 um, infection are the same things that they do to prevent themselves from getting other respiratory viruses that are circulating around to include rhinovirus which causes the cold and influenza which causes the flu. So one of the key things that people can do is wash their hands either with soap and water or alcohol based hand rub. It's also important for people to use good respiratory etiquette and by that we mean either coughing into their sleeve or covering their mouth and nose with a tissue and then doing hand hygiene afterwards. Um, avoiding touching your mouth, nose, and eyes with hands that aren't cleaned is important. And then lastly, staying home when you're sick. If someone is sick, they should try and do their best to not go and visit other people to reduce the risk of transmitting infection. So what's the difference between COVID-19 and, and the coronavirus called SARS that caused an outbreak in 2003? So genetically, there's actually quite a bit of similarities. Um, both of them are thought to have started in animals and have been transferred to people and then subsequently have caused an outbreak. We still don't know the animal source for COVID-19. They're looking into that, but it's thought that it's come from an animal source. At this point, uh, we're seeing more numbers of people already infected with this COVID-19 than we saw with SARS-19. But on a, on a more optimistic note, we're seeing less people dying from it. The number of people that die with this infection seems to be less than SARS. So it seems to be spreading a little bit faster, but less people are dying from it. So the, the case fatality rate, which is when we talk about the number of people that die from infection for this COVID-19, appears to be around 2.1%. And that, that may change some as we learn more about people that have mild or more moderate, less severe symptoms of infection. Um, SARS infection had a, a case fatality rate or number of people dying closer to about 10%, so quite a bit higher. So we're learning a lot about COVID-19 and people are looking at what things do we need to know more about to start their research projects. One of the things that's kind of an, most urgent probably is can we develop a vaccine to keep people protected from getting infected. But there's also research going into what was the initial animal source for this, if it came from an animal, what are the different ways it can be spread. Right now it looks like it's primarily through droplets, but making sure there aren't other methods of transmission. Um, and then learning more about who's at higher risk. And so there's research into which people might be at higher risk for more severe disease.